I wanted that someone would take me to the police before I am dead. Do not judge these thoughts that I'm telling you. These thoughts that I have to leave my children fatherless. <laughs> I tell you my truth, and you nod your head and you say nothing. Must I choose between God and silence? How many have done this? How many have had these thoughts? You are on your own. Another time. I go and see someone who works at the Crested Towers, and I think I should climb to the top of the Crested Towers and drop. I stand at the top of the roof and I look over the city and I look down to the ground I see too many people and then I start to smile and then I feel a little bit foolish and then a happy kind of sadness comes and I keep on smiling I walk from the towers out into the city and I think people are really going to stare but I don't care I am in a world of my own. I come to think that uh, dropping is not the way to do it. I come to a nearby shop and I buy some petrol to burn. Good evening, my brother. Ah, uh, good evening. Such a warm and beautiful sunset in this land which is always so my. Can I have some petrol, please, and uh, some chewing gum, my brother, please? You are going somewhere? Maybe. Huh? Why do you want to drive somewhere? We are happy here together and you should stay here forever. Uh, five liter petrol is enough? Enough for what? Enough to start a fire. My brother, first this car, then it's fire. I think you need to make your mind up, eh? I think you should stay here with me and drink some Guinness. No. Why no? It will take away the taste of the chewing gum in my mouth. I think you do not have the money. Here, 5,000 shillings. And keep the change, huh? Uh, uh, my brother, you are looking very tense, eh? What's going on? You know, I heard this foot yesterday. Playing football, I heard this foot. It is a shame, eh, because we are in such a beautiful land and everything is so wonderful, you know, it would... Hey, the boy! Hey! The chewing gum begins to lose its sweetness in my mouth. I pour the petrol over me. You wish me to sell your batiks for you? You wish to craft? No. Well then, I will craft and you will sell. I want to go to school. Agnes! I have to do so many things already and now this. Because you are the daughter of the house. Don't pretend it is what I want. Speaking this way, you will make me beat you. If you cared, you would not be the way you are. Because I care, I'm trying to find the right way for us. If you cared, you would not be slim because you are weak and fine inside your head, and God sees this and punishes you. Because you are weak, you are slim now, and because of this, I hate you so much. I have with me three matches.
I stepped in the, in the water on the right side of the road and the power, the whole, the whole jail can go folks, five bullets up on me. Then I struck the match, but the fire refused to come. And then I realized that it was diesel and not petrol, and it would not light. <laughs> Agnes. Why are you screaming? Why are you shouting? I am coming! I am coming! Agnes. Tata? I will craft and sell. You will go to school. Tata, why so wet and dirty? Eh? I was helping a man to push a car. Push a car? It was a man from uh, Kireka. I think you are tired, eh? I helped him push it all the way to Ginger Road, and he was able to start. He drove away. Tata, come here to me. Agnes, I will craft, and you will go to school. Jaga 
father's funeral was seven months ago on this day. It is a shame you could not be here for it as there are many traditional things and aspects I think you would have liked. I am happy that you wish to send me money for my education. My father would have loved to see me educated and I will study hard for him and my brothers. Dr. Nielsen, when I saw your name on the message, a strange feeling came. To you, I think, my father was an interesting man. To him, I think he, he thought you were a, a type of God. In the house last week, I was looking through some of my father's possessions. Amongst them, I found some photographs. These photographs, I think, I was never meant to find because they were from the work you did together. My father never shared these thoughts with me. You are happy that my father's story gives people hope, you say? You say it is a story of dark becoming light, of sadness and forgiveness. But it gives me no hope and only fear. I know now that my father tried to end himself. And for this I believe he will be wandering now in a silent land.
You say through his story he has an afterlife. It is not the afterlife he would have wanted. Kuze, kuze, 